I wasn't originally going to film this on the bed, but it's just too much stuff to move over to the table. So I'm just going to film it on the bed and you'll have to excuse the little bit of mess <coughs> in the background. I um, have some laundry I need to put away that I haven't put away yet. So this is going to be the kindergarten. See if that's folded. It just needs to be put away. Um, this is going to be our kindergarten curriculum um, and activities. Um, I'm going to try and go through this kind of fast because it's getting late in the day and I need to get dinner started and such. But I told you about these in the hall. This is going to be our morning activity. We're going to pick one of these each day and discuss the topic on it. Uh, I can link the video below that shows when I got these. These are from Amazon though. Um, I also talked about this one, which is going to be our devotion for this year. And then when we finish this one, we also have this one, which is the Everything a Child Should Know About God. We got this from Timber Doodle last year and never got to use it, so we're going to do it when we finish the other one. But each day it just has a little story and then a question to go with it. And then we also have... The Jesus Story Book Bible and the Children's Book of Virtues, which we will read one of those a week. And these are all things that we do during breakfast time as discussion time. Um, next, we are using a mixture of timber doodle and some other things. So I'm going to come over here so that I can show you the curriculum manual. This is our curriculum handbook for kindergarten. Um, I don't think this year there's a ton there's not there's not a ton that we have to have the manual for it just shows what we got in our box for the most part um, we did edit it quite a bit we didn't get most of the things that are in the language arts section like had we gotten the full elite kit um, it would have had all of these things in it but we didn't get the reading lessons the spelling or the square panda and we will do the reading challenge more than likely, though. Um, I haven't even actually looked at that. I'm not quite sure where it's at in here. Somewhere in here is a reading challenge, though. Let's see, learning tools, maybe at the very end of the book. Um, so the table of contents, sorry. Reading challenge, page 14. Okay, so it just goes through and lists some books that we could read throughout the year, or some topics, and then we pick a book that has to do with that topic. Um, we'll probably do this just for fun. Um, we will more than likely fall under the committed reader because we do have a ridiculous number of books that we're already reading this year, or maybe even this actually We have a lot of books we're reading this year, so we'll see. So the first subject in Temper Doodle when you go through is language arts. So I'm going to do it in the order that it falls in Temper Doodle. So the first thing is language arts. We are doing the Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading now, um, and so we will continue this until we finish it. So we will do it some this year, although um, we probably won't finish it this year. Um, we have this set of early learning flashcards, which um, we are using the sight words and phonics out of with my older son. He's already done the other ones. Um, so my younger son will use those, but the phonics and what sight words we will use. We have the Now I'm Reading for Beginner Readers. So these are just all different readers that we'll use. This is the Batman Phonics Fun that I showed you in the other video. The Itty Bitty Phonics Readers, which correlate with the Veritas Press Phonics Museum that we're using, so you'll see that in a minute. Um, what Your Kindergartner Needs to Know, we will use. This we won't start until probably Closer to January or February, more than likely, whenever we're getting close to the end of the Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading. Um, I want to concentrate on phonics before I bring in language arts, which is like, what is a noun and such. But I do love this program, and I will be using it. 
Um, we are teaching cursive first. Um, technically not, because I mean he knows how to write most letters anyways, but as far as a formal handwriting program, we are teaching cursive first, and we are using the rhythm of handwriting, which is by the logic of English. Um, we only got the workbook. I didn't feel like the other stuff was necessary. We'll literally just switch out the handbooks and the phonics museum, the hand, what are they, the ha worksheets that have handwriting out for this one in the Veritas Press. And then for our phonics program, we are using the phonics museum. This is the kindergarten teacher's manual, which is um, the only, it comes in that giant box right there. And I didn't want to drag the whole box out if nobody was interested. If you're interested, I can definitely do a separate video that shows that being completely unboxed and everything that comes in it, as well as give you our ideas on it. We are currently using the Phonics Museum app. Um, we beta tested it and loved it, which is why we chose to go with the program in paper form. Um, if you'd like more information about that, I can also talk about that more. Okay, so next is math, which is here. We are using first we're doing the math lessons for a living education level one because I feel like most of the things in here are a review. I was going to do this second but I think that this is more of a review. Um, so we're going to do it first and then we have these flashcards because it does teach money and time so we'll include those. And then these flashcards as well I showed you in the other video, but I liked them because they have things like what's different and what's um, what comes next and things like that. And then when we finish that, we will go through mathematical reasoning. We've done mathematical reasoning beginning levels one and two, and so we're just continuing on with level A, which is the kindergarten book. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but my son is going to be five when we start school year. Well, he turns five a few weeks after the school year starts. Um, but he falls into the gap where he would technically be in pre-K this year, not kindergarten, because his birthday is three weeks after the cutoff. And I'm choosing instead to go ahead and start him in kindergarten. Um, and then I also ordered the Moby Max. This is the Timberdoodle exclusive um, Moby Max. And I ordered this one because it comes with extra plus and minuses so that they can be used more with younger children and then it, um, you can add in the multiplication and division afterwards. And so it's just these tiles, very similar to Scrabble tiles. Um, and it comes with the numbers one through 12 and you just try and build off of other people's math problems to create the correct answer for math using math. I mean using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, we'll start out with just addition obviously and then move into subtraction and then add in the Division, multiplication, division, once we get there. So there's an equal sign and the numbers. But um, my son is at a first grade level for math for the most part. And so I thought that he would enjoy um, playing with that. Hold on, I have to zip it back up so the tiles don't fall everywhere. Whee! Okay, next in the list is thinking skills, which is back here. It is the Little Red Riding Hood Deluxe which we have, as well as ignore my camera. It's currently uploading another video. Um, we skip the Amazing Mazes. We have the Kumon books. I got the pre-K level because we hadn't done those already and I felt like we should start there. So there is partial reasoning, creativity, differentiating, and I forget what the other one is. Hold on. Differentiation, creativity, and logic. And so we'll do those this year. And they're just little activities that you have to trace the lines and select the correct answers and such. And then the last thing in that category is uh, the developing learning early learners, which we also left out. Next is history and social studies. Um, we actually left out the history program that they recommended, which was Beads History of Me, and instead are using Tapestry of Grace Primer. This is our chosen program. It's just what we prefer. Um, we plan on using Tapestry of Grace throughout our schooling. Um, so it is a kit. It comes with the guidebook, which is what you read. 
um, so that if you don't know information, you read this ahead of time so that you can know what you need to know to teach the lesson. The Journey of Love, which is a book teaching about homeschooling and the different things that you have to do in order to be able to homeschool effectively. And these you read chapters throughout the program. These are the activity books. The first one is actually on the bottom uh, because I've already made some copies. Um, it just has little activity sheets that go with each lesson and you do those according to the lessons. The only thing I complain I have is it doesn't tell you when to do which sheets. So you have to remember to keep up with the sheets to look through and see which one falls where. And then this is the teacher's manual which just has like the lessons and a checklist of everything that you need to do each week. I do have an older version, so you'll see some whiteout where I've gone in and changed the page numbers to the new books that go with it or um, replaced the sheet altogether with a new copy depending on how much it changed. And then in the back is a page that has the presidents listed out in the books there's two books that you could use, one or the other, so it tells you which one is which, um, which page it is and which book. Um, and then I'll show you this real quick. You'll see it more in depth when we do it, but I do make these copywork worksheets to go with the copywork that is supposed to be in. And I do use the website worksheetworks.com, and it literally just lets you type in words, and then you can use those to have them write the next line on the next line down. And so we're going to use these for our copy work because he's not writing very well on his own as expectation goes, but he can follow a word that's written. So we're going to do it that way. And then because we don't have room for a timeline in our house, um, I chose to use the Sunlight Timeline book instead. And so we'll do all the timeline figures, but we will do them in here. And this just has two sections. It has the beige pages for the BC and the white pages for the AD. And we'll add it in and we'll just continue using this book throughout the entire time we homeschool and just keep adding to it as we go through. So the next section is geography, which is over here. We are doing two separate things for geography. We have the beginning geography book, which we will go through. This came with our timber doodle. And it is literally just there's a map in the back which we have plenty of. Um, just different things about landforms and geography and activities and it's just a little page or half a page that you do each day. And then we're also going to learn some Florida history this year because we do live in Florida so we have the My First Book of Florida which has different activities like writing words that come out of the sunshine shine shade. Some of this will be a little above him but we'll do the ones that he can of state or birds and flowers and such. And then also we have this one, which I think my younger son will probably end up doing instead. Um, it's literally just coloring pages that have to do with different things from Florida. And then it also came with the Geo Puzzles 6 set, which is the world, US, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Latin America, which we'll just play with throughout the school year. So that's everything for our history and our geography. Next is science. We are not doing the kindergarten anatomy first, which is what this calls for. Um, we are going to be doing that second. So we are actually doing this book, the Exploring the Building Blocks of Science Book K Activity Book. Um, more for fun than anything. Um, I don't feel like it's super intensive as far as it doesn't teach a ton about things is literally just color the phosphorus orange and the baron, uh, baron light pink and neon light blue. Um, but it doesn't really teach all that well what the differences are or anything like that. It's just more of an activity book. Um, and so we'll go through and do these things. But we're not going to do it like as our main curriculum. I think it'll be more just activities to do kind of when we need something extra to do or when my kid is bored. Um, this is going to be our main curriculum. 
which is the Sassafras Science. Um, and we are doing volume one first, which is zoology. So we have that. And then, like I said in the other video, oh, and these are the books that go with it. Hold on. Um, these are like the cool, the mandatory books for it. The Kingfisher Encyclopedia of Animals and the DK Encyclopedia of Animals. This is supposed to be for the lower levels and this one for the upper levels, but I got both of them so that we have Um, so that we have both of them just for extra information. And then also when you go in the Sassafras book, it also lists each week extra um, optional reading books. Where is it at? For each section. Here we go. Um, so like each chapter has an optional list of books that you can get. And those books we'll look for in the library or books similar. I didn't buy all of those books because we already have a lot of books that we bought this school year and so I didn't feel like we needed to take up any more room on the bookshelves. Okay, And then in this tub is animals. My plan is to have an animal to correlate with each animal that's in the book. Um, I'm about three quarters of the way there but I'm not quite done yet. And then these are the books that I showed you in the other one, the Nature Anatomy, Farm Anatomy, and Food Anatomy that we are using as kind of like encyclopedias this school year. And then we do also have an encyclopedia, which is the Usborne Children's Encyclopedia. And this will be used for all subjects, both science and history. Um, a couple other things I forgot to show from history is the Liberty Kids, which I showed you in the other video. And then we do have these, we have a wall map, um, but it's like a, a preschool one that has like the animals on it. These are what we're going to use as a like politically correct map. So we have the world map and the United States map. And then we also have our soft globe that we'll be using. And then to finish off science, we have, well, after we finish the zoology, we will go on to anatomy. And so we will use these with that section. And that is the the body tube, the Usborne look inside your body, the my action body and actions cards, and the visible human jumbo floor puzzle. And then once a week, we're just going to do an activity from this. This was actually from the pre-K kit, but I just wanted some kind of hands-on thing for him to do. And so it's the my first super science kit. And there's enough activities. It says there's 70 activities. There's more than enough activities for us to just do one a week for the whole school year. So that's probably what we will end up doing. So that's everything for the core subjects, I think. Yeah, and the next is going to be STEM. Um, I did not get the Think Play STEM because we had so many building block type things, which you saw in our preschool curriculum. So we'll, he'll use a lot of those, but I did get him the geo shape lacing which I showed in my haul video which is just a plastic and wood mixed blocks which you lace with the guide that's included to do different patterns and so he'll do that one for STEM and then he can of course use any of his brother's STEM activities that he wants to use um, and so he'll have those options and then we move on to art we're doing Veritas Press's Phonics Museum like I said which incorporates art and so with that, we have gotten all of the books that they recommend for art history, which is Katie's Picture Show, Katie Meets the Impressionist. I showed these in my other haul. Suzette and the Puppies, um, Rembrandt and the Boy Who Drew Dogs, Diego and the Little Dancer, Camille and the Sunflowers, Leonardo and the Flying Boy. And this one is the... Henry Mateus, and then somewhere in here is a, oh there it is, Michelangelo. Um, so these books we'll read when we get to that character in the other books. And then these are just some activities to do, you know, fun things whenever we want something fun to do. Um, we'll use these famous painting cards whenever the painting comes up in the other curriculum. Um, this is just a little activity. 
We got some origami, the drawing patterns book that I showed earlier, this book about manners that we will use with both the boys, and then just a My First Art sticker book, just something fun to do when he needs something hands-on to do when he's bored, as well as the famous artist's placemat that I showed before. Just a couple of school supplies that came in it. Just pencil sharpener, pencils, and some of these cool, like, rainbow swirly pencil, color pencils to write with. And then last but not least was in the kit was the Morph, which is like a building clay that never dries out and is super light. And I got that for him to enjoy. So that's the majority of like the curriculum that we're going to be using and how we're going to be breaking up the subjects. Um, I showed you in another video all of these books. These are the books that go with Tapestry of Grace. I bought the kit so that I didn't have to search the library and such to look for them all the time. And then these are just some extra things that don't really fall in anywhere, but I thought I had some good ideas, so I thought I'd share them just so you could see some other things you can use. Um, we have the Super Magnet Lab, which we will use throughout the year just to play. Um, oh, gosh, this actually goes with, with that science kit. And I am flinging magnets everywhere. I don't know where the other piece went. Um, So, but there's all kinds of different magnets and things in here for them to use. I'll have to find that in a minute. Um, we have the geometric solids to learn our geometric solids. We have the primary science mix and, mix and measure, which I told you guys about in the haul video. 